Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So if you watched my first review of the Thomas Delauer My NMN Experience video, you'll know that I was not too pleased. And if you read the comment section of that video, you'd have noticed that also many of his subscribers or those that watch and comment were also not best pleased. Uh, in the comment section of my video, I received this comment from Laura, a very frequent commenter to my channel, and I thank her very much for that indeed. She explained that Thomas had done another Verso sponsored video three months prior to the second video, which was the one I reviewed. So with two videos now posted and a pinned comment, I thought I would take it upon myself to do a Thomas Delauer NMN experience video, because quite frankly, his two attempts to so far have been pretty poor. Cellular respiration sounds like probably the most boring thing that I could possibly talk about. But when you're experimenting with yourself and you're trying to figure out ways to get more energy. And so this is the second NMN video. You'll know that I did a review of the first one. And this video is much more like the Thomas Delauer that I came to uh, like and respect. Clear, confident, and far more focus on the science and far less focus on actually selling products. This video was posted on the 22nd of January 2021, where he said he'd been experimenting with NMN. Now I'm doing this video because I started personally experimenting with taking some things that are precursors to NAD. So some of this is my own experience, okay? I started taking nicotinamide mononucleotide, which we'll talk about in a second. So his second NMN video was three months later. So at least three months to possibly take it. I'm guessing Verso maybe saw a spike in sales in January and then this dipped off. So they employed him again in March. Maybe he thought, Thomas DeLauer, that it's, it was only a one-off payment um, and he hadn't been recording any of his specific data. So he had nothing to share. What do you think about that idea? So according to Wikibio Worth, he was born on the 6th of May 1988, which makes him 33, which is around the right time to start taking NMN as your NAD levels do start to drop uh, in your 30s. And David Sinclair has also mentioned that he would take NMN in his 30s. Uh, he does mention NR in the first video, in this video, but only as a way to steer people away from it and onto Verso's NMN, which he did so unconvincingly in the second video, but there's still no evidence that he did actually take it. Although in the second video, he said that he did take NR. And again, it would be nice to get an answer on this question, but he or his team never ever respond to any of the questions that are posed in the comment section of his videos. Let's look at the Verso um, RDA, which is 250 milligrams a day. Thomas is five foot 10 inches and weighs between 185 and 195 pounds, which is between 84 and 85 kilos. If we take the Rhonda Patrick formula of 24 milligrams per kilo, let's average his weight out at 87 kilos. He should be on two grams a day. Uh, if he follows the David Sinclair protocol, he should be on one gram a day. If he's using the, Vers the Verso RDA, which when you watch him take it on these two videos, it looks like he is, he's either 750 milligrams or 1,750 milligrams short every day. Now, maybe this is a reason that he didn't feel anything and also a reason that he didn't seem as sincere in his second video. I didn't feel a difference until I was well into my one gram a day and actually I felt a bigger difference when I was on 1.5 grams a day. Anecdotally, people who comment on the channel, they say they tend to feel a bigger difference. Those are the people who are not very active. Um, Thomas is very active indeed. That is why he didn't feel as much and maybe why he didn't seem so sincere in his second video. Also, we know that fasting increases NAD um, and he is very big into intermittent fasting. So maybe he has more than the average um, 33 year old in regard to NAD levels and if he's taking at least 750 milligrams short of what he should be taking that may be a reason that he's he's not feeling anything and looked a bit uncomfortable when he was explaining what his particular benefits or his data was. Um, now he doesn't mention methylation or TMG in either video and regardless of whether you think it is uh, relevant or not I think he should have mentioned it in at least one of the videos. He normally posts a video every 24 hours, but after the second NMN video, which um, attracted a lot of negative comments and also my um, review of it, he uploaded two videos within six hours of each other. Um, now I think 
but I may be wrong, he can't take the Verso videos down because they paid him and he would then have to um, pay that money back. So he probably didn't want negative looking videos at the top of his feed. So maybe he posted two within six hours to push them further down his feed so people can't see them. Uh, I'd be interested to see what you think about that particular um, hypothesis or my idea. Now I'm just going to play a short clip and this is what I said at uh, the end of my video, my review of his second video. Just listen to what I said and then we'll discuss what I said and we'll look at what he posted shortly afterwards. Just one comment where he said, I had good results. Um, but what were they? We don't know. Was it increased energy? Was it better sleep? Was it better recovery from, from injury? Um, I look forward to a follow-up video where he does actually say or does give, give us the information that he mentioned on the thumbnail. Then a few hours later, this pinned comment was posted where he says, it's very hard to explain specific results with NMN. It's something that, in my opinion, should be taken for a good length of time. Unfortunately, I'm also making sure not to make claims because it's a supplement that could be misconstrued. So if you have nothing to say after three months, and you obviously didn't, why make an 11 minute video? We know why he made the video, because he was paid by Verso to make the video. Uh, and I have my suspicions as to why he made it so long, because he was also cashing in on the um, YouTube AdSense because there's a specific length of video you need to achieve before you can put more and more adverts on it. He then goes on to say, so in short, my personal anecdotal experience has been much clearer feeling. I seem to be sleeping harder, seem to be, but he's not monitoring that. More efficient, perhaps, again, very woolly. I definitely am more alert first thing in the morning. Very little ramp up period in the morning. So why in short, people turned into, tuned into this video for his experience as promised on the thumbnail. Um, and as a, as a side note, NAD levels are higher in the morning, higher in the morning anyway, um, especially if you're fasted. So I can't see, unless he's taking it very early in the morning, um, that he's going to be feeling that kind of effect. He goes on, I'll keep everyone posted as time goes on, but this has been a very heavily requested topic. So please understand the goal is to educate and share my experience why I am taking it. Okay, but you shared your experience um, and it only takes about 15 to 20 seconds for you to do that. Why did you take an 11 minute video? So from the 11 minute video, I'm now going to play the clip where he explains what his NMN experience actually was. I'm gonna make this very simple. I wanna make it my explanation of why I started taking NMN and what I've experienced and what exactly I'm going after. Because I started taking them and I had good results. At the time of writing this script, his pinned comment has had nine replies, none of which have been acknowledged by either Thomas or anyone from his channel. The video, the second video, has 421 comments, and again, none of those comments are being responded to. Uh, and although a lot of the comments were extremely negative, there were some valid questions um, asking for inf information and advice and help, um, and they were all ignored. And it's a pet peeve of mine that YouTubers who make content and leave their comments section open for people to interact with them ignore the subscribers and never ever comment. I think it's very dis, uh, disrespectful indeed. Now, according to famouspeopletoday.com, Thomas earns most of his wealth from YouTube and Instagram. On YouTube, his 260 million views earned him around $450,000, so nearly half a million. On Instagram, he's got 275,000 followers and he can easily receive $5,000 per sponsored post. They don't say how much he would earn for a sponsored video on YouTube, but I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in that ballpark. They say he has an estimated worth of about $1 million. I'm guessing he wants to carry on with that success, that very successful career. His latest NMN video, the second one, has caused a certain amount of friction. So will he make another NMN video um, where he will have to give more detailed information on what his experience with NMN actually is? or he'll have to come in for the same amount of criticism again. Or will he continue with the fire and forget videos and maybe cut Verso free? I'd be interested to see what you think about my ideas and I'd also be interested to see what you think about or what you think is gonna be in Thomas DeLauer's next NMN video or do you think that one is his last NMN update video?